I'm gonna show you how to assemble IKEA 2 Fjord upholstered storage bed with the four storage drawers under it. Let's do it. And you're getting five boxes with this IKEA 2 Fjord bed. Useful tools, bigger and smaller electric scroll driver. If you like to see what I'm using, all the links for the tools are in the description. Let's open everything up. I'm just gonna go fast here, but don't worry, I'm gonna go bit by bit oh most important things have a coffee or tea before you start you're gonna need it here as we have a lot to go through so let's open everything up as i mentioned i'm gonna explain everything in the video what where is going just gonna open everything up so you have better idea how much stuff you're getting with this ikea two fjord upholstered storage bed as you see there is quite a lot of stuff and there is gonna be manual instructions which you're not gonna need a lot of screws here which indicate a lot of work yeah a lot so you have three big bags with the screws and brackets and everything you're gonna open up everything apart from the bags which they are numbered so all this you can open just organize it put the same things in the same place I know where is what you're gonna have a better idea like that here we have key which I can provide bag number one two and three and as we're gonna start with drawers we're gonna go with bag number three open it up and as usually I am gonna organize everything what is in the back so I know better what I'm working with you're gonna have a easier time while you're assembling when you do this every time when you open the back with the screws we're gonna have four same drawers i'll show you how to do one this is the front panel three holes here on the side position the front panel exactly the same as i have it here you see two bottom ones they're closer to each other one third one on the top is further this is flat and this is curved you see open bottom is slightly different you're gonna need those screws and we're gonna place them two on each side of the front panel one on the top and one on the bottom now we're gonna need a back panel this is the one i have kind of cut out at the bottom you're gonna need those plastic plugs they're the same as for the wardrobes or the shelves place them in to the front panel two at the bottom and position them this way position your panel same as i have it here you're gonna have easy time when you're gonna you know gonna need to figure out how to position everything what i'm putting in so put it exactly the same way and two of these plastics to the back panel now we're gonna have two dividing panels you're gonna need those for screws and the plastic locks there's the plastic locks here and point the arrow to the front hole see the arrow at the front I'm gonna point to the front hole and that's gonna apply to all of the plastic locks which we're gonna put it in arrow on the plastic pointing to the front hole exactly the same here arrow on the plastic pointing to the front hole and do exactly the same on the other one two plastic locks on the other side exactly the same arrow on the plastic pointing to the front hole on a both so two plastic locks on each side of these dividing panels now see the gap on the middle so we, this is going to be left and right this way put them exactly as i'm putting them now you're going to put two wooden plugs into the middle hole for each only on this side open them up and see the gaps are on the middle one gonna be on the left one on the right now we're gonna have the bottom panel one side is plain without the holes one side have a holes two on each longer side and we're gonna place those two holes right in the plastics which you put before into the front panel now side panel coming in gap into the bottom panel and slide it down right to the screws exactly same on the other side there is the plug which is coming in gap on the side panel sliding into the bottom panel and the screws if you're in a correct position that's how we're going to end up on the top so the 
bottom panel is lining up nicely with the dividing panels. Top panel, I'm gonna slide it in and those two plastics are gonna come in from bottom to the bottom panel. Tap it in one and the other one. Once you're in, you can place those plastic plugs in, just slide them in to on each side of the back panel connecting dividing panels. Now twist the lock to the right side, connecting the front panel at the bottom, and here connecting the side panels with the back panel. Twist the locks to the right side. This electric screwdriver is perfect here. It has a torque, so you're not gonna overrun the screws. And here now, the bottom, we're just gonna secure the screws through the plastic on the front panel sides and back panel sides. Now we have the drawer done. You're gonna do four drawers like this. So I'm just gonna show you one because all the others are exactly the same. Now, prepare those panels exactly as I have it here. This is gonna be the side panels. So here you have three holes on this side and two holes on this side, two holes on the middle. Now we're gonna need those kind of brackets, B and A. Back number one, open it up. You're gonna have this key, which is useful, but in the long run useless. If you have an electric screwdriver, you're gonna be much better off with any kind of DIY or furniture assembly. Here, organize the screws and one side is open on the bracket, one side is closed. The close is bottom, open the top. Now, first one, A, you're gonna position on this side. First, B, you're gonna be against it. And the close parts are at the bottom, open parts on the top. Now, another B on this side. That's why I say position the panels exactly as I have it here, so you're gonna have easy time. Now, bracket A on this side. Let's see how they are positioned. The closed parts on the bracket are bottom, open parts are on the top. So A, B on one side, and A, B on the other side. Exactly the same open part on the top, closed part on the middle, another open part on the B on the top. See, that's the closed part, and this is the open part that is going to be the top. Now we're going to need those screws. And we're going to attach those brackets through those two holes. They sit in. There's so many screws, so without the electric screwdriver, you're going to have slightly difficult time. Exactly the same in a B bracket. I'm not saying you cannot do it, but it's much harder work. Another side exactly the same in a B bracket and in an A bracket. We secure each bracket with the two screws all the way in like that. So open part on the top, close part on the middle, on both. So that's going to be the bottom and open part here as well. Last thing, I do the final touches with the, with the Allen key, which is in the box as you have better feel in your hand so you know how hard you went on the screws in case you not trust 100% to the screwdriver. Now we're gonna have those legs and we're gonna attach them at the bottom in that close part of the bracket. You're gonna need those screws. They have slightly flatter head, flatter heads than the other ones which are gonna come later on. So those screws coming through the leg to the bottom of the bracket, position them this way. There is a small hook and finish it with the Allen key. Just the final touch. Here exactly the same. First coming into the hole in the corner and secure it with the one screw. Don't mix the screws. Just pay attention to which screws I'm putting where. Be exactly the same. You'll be fine at the end. Exactly the same for all the legs. Just place them in and secure each leg with one screw. Now we can push them on the side and we're gonna have the bottom and the top. Here is gonna be the top or the headboard part where the headboard's gonna be plugged in with the holes on the edge. This one is without the holes on the edges. Position them exactly the same, those woods 
at the bottom those screws with a kind of rounder head and we're gonna go into those two holes at the bottom first one close to the wood and second one next to it don't screw them all the way in just like this go too much in you're not gonna be able to attach the side panels so leave this small gap here a gap on the finger roughly and do exactly the same for the other panel so the front one is going to be the panel which the headboard is going to be attached the bottom one is the footboard exactly the same on the other side two screws at the bottom not all the way in two on each side of the headboard and footboard part now as i mentioned the one with the holes that's going to be the part where the headboard is going to be attached so that's going to go on this side three holes to the headboard part which have the holes on the edge here you're gonna have on the side panel this hole for the headboard to be attached so put it on the side where is the holes on the edge join together just like that there is bigger opening on the middle and then just slide it down and leave it like that for now exactly the same on the other side you have this opening here the headboard part gonna come there and that's the side where is the headboard with the holes on the edge and place it in those two screws for the bigger opening and just slide it down don't secure the screws yet now we're gonna have those screws then we're gonna secure there is another two holes on the top of the bracket and we're gonna secure it all the way in you see once i put one in the other one is still loose so go back to the previous one and now we can secure the bottom ones as well so secure all four of them if you see as you're securing one second one the, the first one is loosening so just go back and secure all of them completely in exactly the same on the other side two screws on the top and then secure those two bottom ones see they slightly opening at some point they're not gonna realize that and i'm gonna come to it later on at the end so here exactly the same you see i went with the top one too much inside so i cannot slide it in just open it up slightly and slide it in push it into the long hole at the bottom same on the other side for the bigger opening and slide it down so this is the bottom side exactly the same screws gonna come into the two top holes and secure them in completely now you can do the two bottom ones exactly the same on the other side two screws coming in to those two top holes everything is closing nicely just secure them and two bottom ones exactly the same secure it completely you see as you tighten the first one then the second one is still a bit loose so just go back to the screws check all of them if they are attached correctly now we're gonna have those four brackets and those screws they're gonna go in the corners gonna hold the bed in the shape so just through the bracket to the hole secure it on one side and then on the other side watch in which hole i'm putting it so do exactly the same one side the other side you see here i'm quite far from the hole so you're gonna need to position the bed slightly so you can get into the hole so i was, I was uh, at this point because you just have the frame the bed is not in a 90 degree in each corner so just adjust it so once you get comfortably in those holes you're gonna be in a correct position so the bed should be in a 90 degrees in each corner then you're not gonna have any problems with the drawers at the end and exactly the same on the other side secure it with the two screws one on each side last one exactly the same two screws now we're gonna go with the headboard this is the toughest part so pay close attention bag number two a lot of people they gonna struggle with this i think this is the screws just organize them i have the two fjord bed without the storage before and there was a lot of comments regarding the headboard so just pay attention and you'll be fine so this is everything from the back number two for the headboard all the bracket screws and you're gonna have those two panels 
they are almost identical apart from those long holes on one side on the other side just the holes on the top there is long holes at the bottom we're gonna go with this one first just the holes on the top only and place those two brackets here you're gonna need these screws place them in to the bracket see the pointy part is pointing down now we're gonna have this one this is the curved one and you have a holes in there and you're gonna put those brackets exactly the same into those holes and the pointy parts are gonna point down again the down is the part where the headboard is going to be attached. Place it in and secure it with one screw. Here is one more which is going into the curved part. So two on the edges and one in this curved part. Exactly the same. Place it in, secure it with one screw. Make sure all the screws are attached completely. So you're not going to have a problem with the connecting them together. Else you're gonna have enough headache without uh, any wrong steps. Here is the other one, the curved one. So two on the edge and one in the curved part. So three brackets here and the pointy part is pointing down again. Secure it with one screw for each of these brackets. Now we have all the panels ready. We're going to start with this straight panel. So this one have two long holes on each side. So this one coming in first. This is the hooks which they coming into the holes. Positioned exactly the same as I'm doing here. Don't go on the other side. Just copy what I'm doing. You'll be fine at the end. Just push it in. That one should go easy. Just tap it down. One done. Second one. This one have the hooks on the side, which we just did. And we're gonna join them together by putting the bottom hook in first. So this is the long hole on the side. Put the hook in at the bottom and on the top at the same time and try to connect them together. It didn't go here, as you see. So the key was here for me. Just tap it in if you can join them first. Just tap it in, in completely. So I was good with this, but I couldn't push it down. So what it was working for me, I lifted up slightly the first panel. I just lifted up slightly, you see both parts. One, the edge is still in. So here I lifted up slightly and then it was, it went easily down. And then I could push them easily down, both of them. So that was the trick. So all nicely in, I'm happy with that. They're gonna line up on the top nicely. That's how I want it line up between and line up on the top now the side ones is a bit of headache you're gonna have to attach those three two at the bottom they coming in first this one on the edge first in with this one at the same time just slide them in so those two coming in and now the third on the top coming as well just bang it on the side slightly and you see i push it up again the whole thing and it came nicely in now the middle is closing and i just pushed it down from the top and it went nicely in quite hard fit so you're gonna have to go exactly what i did first two hooks at the bottom join the top lift it slightly out of the whole things and then push it down here just slightly more in i just pushed it from the top and it's nicely on the edges just how i like it exactly the same on the other side so the curve one coming in with the bottom one so those two at the bottom they have to come in at the same time one another one and now i can join the top and when you bang it here from the side it's coming down nicely and then just from the top and push it down as much you can and that's it nicely joined i'm kind of happy how it went all joined together no gaps between and lining nicely on the top and at the bottom
Now we're going to need those long screws with the washer and we're going to secure the headboard from the inside of the frame. So first this side, so it's the middle hole, just secure it from the inside to the headboard, the curved one first on one side and on the other side. Same here, long screw with the washer. When you're going to grip the headboard you're going to feel it so just secure it completely so it's holding nicely in place and now we can go in the front panel here secure it with another two screws on one side another two screws on the other side i'm coming close here because i'm trying to get the grip on the other side if the back panel uh if the headboard panel is moving at the bed closing nicely but yes everything is closing nicely lining up and there's no gaps between them exactly how it's supposed to be so secure all the screws here four on this side and two on the sides it's now we're gonna need those screws we're gonna need those brackets they're coming on the middle they're gonna be attached right here so just secure them in one side and on the other side that's how it looks exactly the same here secure them with the two screws now this panel, the wooden one, positioned exactly the same as I have it here. Slide it on one side and slide it on the other side between those brackets. The screws, four of them, one from one side, securing the wood into those brackets. Another screw on the other side at the bottom. Exactly the same on the other side. One screw on the top through the bracket to the wood another screw through the bracket to the wood at the bottom now we're gonna need those rails the screws and the rail this is the back of the rail and front of the rail the screws coming in through the second hole from the front and we're gonna secure secure it into the wood which we just connected between those brackets don't mix it up where is the front where is the back so this is the front and the hook that's the back you're gonna do it for all of them so you're gonna have four drawers so you're gonna have two on each side eight rails in total so just position them exactly depend where is the front and back if you mix them up not gonna be able to put the drawers in so where is the hook on the rail that's the back for all drawer rails so secure each of them with the two screws so four of them is on the middle and four of them is on the frame. This is the last one on the middle, two screws, one on the front, one on the back. Now we're going to have those two rails. They have a round hole on one side, long holes on the other side. You're going to need those plastics and those screws. Round hole, push the screws in from outer side and the uh, plastic from inner side this way so the hook is on our side or outer side i can say now we have the mid beam you can open it up slightly and last two holes two screws two plastics the screws coming from under into the last hole and securing the plastic from the other side position them exactly the same as i have it here so the hook is pointing to outer side same for the second screw from under and secure it with the plastic on the top this is gonna hold the bed slats on the top and the bottom i'm gonna explain that in a moment on the other side we're gonna do exactly the same so two screws through the round holes from the inner side and two screws to the mid beam from under securing the plastic they're gonna twist but just position them correct way so the hook is on the outer side now we're gonna need those screws and we're gonna go with the top hole so depending on the thickness of your mattress you can go with the bottom holes or top holes we decide in this case we're gonna go with the top holes but if you prefer the mattress slightly lower you, or you have very thick mattress you can go with the bottom holes so secure the rail with the screws or along depend on how high you want to go the top line of holes or the bottom line of holes and secure them on the other side exactly the same the long holes on the rails are the one we're using now now you're gonna have those two brackets and four screws those two brackets coming into the 
those four holes on the top and bottom and we're gonna go with the top holes if you decide to go with the rail on the bottom holes then you go with those brackets on the bottom holes but in our case we went with the top holes for the rails so top holes for those two brackets and that's gonna hold the mid beam so you have the hook on each side the mid beam is extending hook it at the front and hook it at the back mid beam is in now you're gonna have a bed slats in this case we got those bed slats which they're gonna be hooked behind those plastics you see that's why we put them in there so they're gonna hold the bed slats in place slide it down and hook it at the bottom that's how it looks and exactly the same on the other side hook it on the top one side other side slide them down and hook them at the bottom I'm gonna put the drawers so just open the rails completely put the drawer down on the rails and hook it first at the back that's the most important thing then you know you are in the right place so push the hook completely in so this is not correct and this is correct hook completely in on the other side exactly the same push it in and now we can push it here on the side so there is a hole and these things are gonna come in you see the wheel that's adjustable um, you can adjust the height of the drawer slightly so if you need you can move the wheel in or out and you're gonna you can raise or put it down the front slightly exactly the same for all four of them extend the rails completely slide the drawers in on one side at the back on one side other side and slide them in completely now we're gonna have another two on the other side so exactly the same open the rails put the drawers on them slide them at the back hook them in both sides and then just slide them in here into the holes and as I mentioned, there is this adjustable part at the front with that small wheel. You can lift the drawer slightly up or down. Exactly the same for the last one. Slide it in this way and it's done. And that's how you assemble IKEA Uffjord upholstered storage bed. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as always. You will make my day and see you in my next one very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day.